Hey everybody, this is Peter from Roland here at American Musical Supply. We're gonna continue looking at in-depth features on the TR-8S. So one of the enhancements to the performance aspect of the TR-8S is this performance pad, which will let you tap in rhythms in real time and lay them out in the sequencer. So all you have to do is basically select the instrument that you wanna program with it, and then you can tap it in. And it's velocity sensitive to a point. It'll basically uh, detect whether it's a strong hit or a weak hit and it'll remember that on the sequence. So for this right here, kind of a breakdown section. And then if I wanted to layer in a hi-hat, I can just make sure a hi-hat is selected and then use this. And it remembers that rhythm. So I can kind of use to my advantage. So I can use it to build up sections or kind of work on things ahead of time. Uh, it's a really kind of handy feature to have and it's right conveniently there kind of on the far right of the far right of the panel so I'm able to access it easily. So one of the advantages to using the eight variations is the ability to compose ahead of time uh, and not uh, trigger the variation that you're currently playing. So if I have say this section right here it's playing one variation. I can hold TRX and go to the next variation without uh, queuing it up to play. So I'm basically looking at what I'm going to be playing in the future and then maybe change change a rhythm or change a drum beat or you know make that snap decision while I'm playing live so that I can kind of uh, have more flexibility. So if I want to change something, uh, I can do that and not, uh, and not um, interrupt the performance. So pattern variations can also be copied in real time super easily. So if I have this pattern right here and I want to copy it, I can hold copy, hit variation, uh, the start variation, and then press any other variation and it copies it. So if I want to link those two, I can press them both at the same time and they'll alternate. And then I can make changes. And it's all very fluid and hands-on. I mean, it's very performance friendly. I don't need to stop the sequence to copy something. And then uh, being able to compose the uh, variations that I copied ahead of time uh, is really kind of a powerful tool to use when you're doing it live. So the sound engine of the TR-8S has been uh, enhanced to include every TR drum machine we've ever made and uh, also to include uh, custom samples. It comes with a bunch of preset samples that you can use, and there's kicks, snares, sound effects. There's even a small library of power tools that ship with this to use at your advantage. There's a lot of uh, sound design capability here. So they really kind of like encourage you to use effects and to use uh, sound shaping tools on the unit itself to make you know more creative and interesting percussion sounds, melodic sounds, pretty much whatever you want. Um, and this kind of opens up the door to more melodic sequencing. So uh, for this example, I have a kit that has mostly drum sounds, but there's some like interesting kind of pads and things that have different effects on each track. So for example, those are the kind of collections of sounds that I have. And my user configurable control knobs will be able to control different effects per track. So for this, for example, for this one, it's controlling a low pass filter, cut off, and then for this effect, for that sample, it's controlling a high pass filter, and that could be pretty much any effect. It can be distortion or compression, uh, pretty much anything that they have uh, access to can be mapped to this knob. So using that in context is a lot of fun. So I'll play just this uh, simple pattern and kind of use the control knobs to my advantage and manipulate the effects and kind of enhance this performance.
So it's a lot of fun to kind of manipulate that live and be able to kind of load in whatever sounds you want on whatever track and then kind of have access to that. Uh, it's all on the TR8S uh, sequencer too, so it's easy to implement these uh, changes. Uh, what's also great is that you can motion record uh, any knob on the interface itself. So if I wanted to play the pattern back and then maybe automate the filter cutoff, I can do that. And so you can see here it's kind of being animated, which is a lot of fun. And then I can turn that off if I want to kind of stop all the motion recording. I can use that to my advantage. And you can use that as a performance feature, you can use that as just experimenting, you can use it as just a kind of a production tool. Uh, it's really just a lot of fun to have access to that. Um, and it can be mapped to, you can basically automate any of the control knobs, any of the decays, any of the tuning. Uh, you can even automate whether the master effect is on or off and, and different controls there. Uh, it's a lot of fun to use. So the TR8S has a lot of new features that you can use at your disposal. It's great either live or in the studio. And if you want to check out more, go to AmericanMusical.com.